Hi, right, what's up everybody? So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about this bad boy right here. This is the NOCN 32-inch 4K gaming monitor. Now, this thing is a fully loaded beast. And I want to kind of just take this opportunity to go over this monitor. I've been living with it for about a week now. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not a week. I've been living with it for about a month now. And I just want to kind of tell you guys about my experience with it, some of the ups and downs that I've had with it, and also just to give you guys an idea of what you can expect if you wanted to pick this monitor up. First off, I do want to send a big, huge shout out and thank you to NOCN for sending this monitor out for review. Full disclosure, they did not pay me for this review, and this review is my thoughts and my thoughts alone. That being said, this is a big boy. 32 inches of pure greatness. But what makes this monitor so special? Not only is it 32 inches, it's a 4K monitor, mini LED, and it has a one millisecond response time in addition to being 144, re 144 hertz refresh rate. This thing has all the connectivity that you could want. It has two, two USB-A ports in addition to USB-C, two HDMI, and I believe it has a display port on the back of it as well. I don't really mess with display port too much, but I do know it has those on the back, mainly because I'm using it as a USB-C hub right now. As you can see, I am currently using it with my MacBook Pro, which is tucked off behind here over this nice, beautiful IKEA plant. And the beautiful thing about this monitor is that it gives you a lot of features for what I would consider to be a great price. Now, if you were to go to NOCN's website, you will see that the monitor retails for $800. It's actually marked off on their site, but if you go to Amazon, this thing can be found for as low as $522.99 currently. So it is a great, great monitor, and I do think that if you are interested in something like it, you will enjoy picking it up. Look, how has it been for me though? Now, this was a refurbished unit, so I'm gonna put a video up over this one right now of the unboxing of the monitor, and do not pay attention to the box. It was a refurbished. They did tell me, hey, you know, we're going to send you a refurbished unit. If that's okay, I think that's fine. So it is what it is. But <laughs> overall, the condition of the monitor is great. It was damn near new when it came out of the box for it to be a refurbished monitor. I currently have my setup going through USB-C to the monitor. And I also have my Xbox Series uh, S over here hooked up to it as well. And I can honestly say that it has been great. I've always been a gamer on the TV. Okay, we'll talk about gaming for a second. I've always been a gamer on the TV, but gaming on this thing has been absolutely incredible. One of the other things that I like about this monitor, I'm going to turn my Xbox on while I'm talking about it. You guys know how I do. I don't do no scripts. We're doing this all live. This monitor has a lot of features that you won't find on monitors for the same price. You usually have to go up in price to find these type of features on it. One of the biggest features that you'll find on this monitor is that it has ambient lighting, so there's ambient lighting when it comes to the monitor, and you can literally have lights reflected in the back of the monitor while you're just sitting here hanging out and relaxing. I've got a purple glow. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's like a purple glow. I'll turn this light off here so it can help out. There's a purple glow uh, on the back of the monitor right now, but it's easy to change your input. So as you can see, We've got auto type C display port HDMI HDMI one so I'm going to go to HDMI one and I'm going to go ahead and hit that hit this button here to take me to it and now give it a second my Xbox screen will pop up will pop up once it's once it takes me there and boom here we go now we're on my Xbox this thing also has picture in picture I tried to mess with the picture in picture one of the things that I will say may be a downside to this monitor is it is a little slow. That could be because it's a refurb. That could also just be because of the processor inside of the monitor, but it does do what it needs to do. Now, the picture in picture is pretty cool. You'll have like a nice little picture up here. I think that one of the things that affects it may be the USB-C cord that I use for my monitor because I wanted to do like my Xbox on the, on the main screen and like my computer up top and it just was not, it was just giving me issues. Another issue that I had on the subject of issues is audio with the USB-C connection I had some issues when it came to the audio that was coming out of it as opposed to the audio that was coming from the Xbox as you guys can see right now if I was to go load up any kind of a game on my Xbox right now we're gonna have no issues with volume whatsoever and 
that's one of the things that I like about something like this is that it's literally, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can hear the, the audio in the background, but it's literally an all-in-one setup. You don't need to have an extra sound bar, extra speaker bar, or anything like that, unless that's just what you want, you know? But overall, overall, I would say that after a month of living with this monitor, this monitor has been immaculate. I mean, and it has just been, honestly, immaculate. I've enjoyed it. I've had a lot of monitors in the past. I've had LG 32-inch 4K, Samsung 32-inch 4Ks. I've had 27-inch monitors. But this one has just been a great culmination of like all those features that I would want. And if I actually paid for it, I think I'd be very satisfied. I don't think I'd have anything negative to say other than the quirks and things that I've already talked about. Now, one thing that I have noticed is it's hard to wake the monitor up, okay? Now, if you are coming from, say, the Xbox HDMI to, to the USB-C, it seems like there's a really long gap between the connection, and that does make me wonder what exactly is going on in there. But it does eventually bloat up. I notice that sometimes what I have to do is I have to go back here and actually flip the monitor off and then flip it back on. For it to like recognize oh he's trying to use his computer and connect I think that something like this would be a lot better with a actual like tower PC which who knows maybe that's something I'll do in the, in the, in the future may move away from Mac and actually try PC for once you know PC master race was good but that's pretty much it like I don't really have a lot to say about this thing in a bad way um, I do want to take a moment to just kind of read some of the specs off of their website. So uh, you're going to step into, they say, step into a gaming realm like never before. 32 inch 4K, 144 hertz gaming monitor, mini LED backlit technology. Mini LED, bro. Think about that. Mini LED. Okay. Immerse yourself in the action. Advanced IPS panel boasting of 1152 zones and rapid one millisecond response time. These are just some of the beautiful little, little things. Another thing I wanted to mention as well while I'm thinking about it. This thing does cover 99% of the DCI-P3 and Adobe RGB color gambit. I had to research that to understand what that was. So if you are a creator like myself or whatever, this monitor will service your needs when it comes to your editing and anything that you have going on with that type of work. So just keep that in mind. But that's pretty much it. This is the NOCN 32-inch 4K gaming monitor. And man... Shout out to NOC and again for sending this out. I really feel like it's not talked about enough how small channels like mine, like these companies take a chance on small channels like me by sending something like this out because this is incredible, okay? This, this is incredible. And I'm really thankful and appreciative for the opportunity. I will do a follow-up video on this. Like I said, I've been living with this thing for about a month and I will do a follow-up video on it. Maybe another you know, month or two or whatever down the line. We'll just kind of see how it's still holding up. Maybe if I, get, like I said, if I get that PC, we'll add it to it and see how, see how it's going. But in the meantime, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below. There will be links in the description for you to check this monitor out and also for you to just check out some other things from NOCN. So hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.